My name's Liam Davies Brown. I'm 18 and I live in the Sedan district and I make sculptures. In about year 10, which was about 2017, I was interested in blacksmithing and I did a um, eight week blacksmithing course at the Artisans Blacksmiths Association of South Australia. The things that you can make with just heated steel and a hammer is very um, interesting and very ornate and there's a very fine art to it and I kind of got hooked on that so I started working my way up towards sculpture with a welder and different types of steel so I can make whatever's required. It's, it's a long journey but yeah, this is where I'm at today. With the dragon, I started using pieces of scrap out of my mentor's scrap heap and it just continued on from there until he was running out of scrap pieces and then I contacted a local farmer who has a huge pile of scrap that he's just got lying around. I was making connections with other local farmers from local all the way out to Dutton, all the way out to Maribel. When I'm making a sculpture, I go out and have a look at what I've collected and if it has an interesting shape, I pick it up, have a look at it, clean it up, put it on the sculpture and continue. And then I use that to create what you see. The dragon is majorly made out of plow tines, plow shears and old discarded pieces of farm machinery like bump drives, knife drives and conditioner combs. But there are also other sorts of things that you could find in there like tow bar hitches, a old shoe horn or plow tines or whatever. It's made of almost anything and everything. Spanners, sprockets, hammers. They've all been put together into the shape of what I envisioned. It's been a symbol to create something from seemingly nothing. So it's reuse and recycle, basically. Um, take things that people don't want and make it into something that everyone somehow wants. The message that I find behind that is that if someone is willing to make a five meter wingspan dragon for a year 12 art project then anyone can do anything and that's just inspiring in itself. 